Well, into the spotlight tonight with the housing market hot. Many real estate listings are off the market before buyers ever get a chance to see them. But one Cleveland home up for sale has gone viral this week for its very unique front yard decor. So very true. So I visited what has been dubbed the Cleveland Dinosaur House to get a front row look, row look at what makes it so darn special. Fresh on the market, good luck not falling in love with this meticulously maintained colonial charmer. She's a three bed, three bath stunner with beautiful vintage flooring, formal oak trim dining room, and this horrifying Allosaurus from the Triassic period. Also featuring solid wood kitchen cabinets, granite countertops with marble backsplash, and an ancient mastodon standing eternal sentry outside your home to keep you safe. And also a giraffe, cause hey, why not? This is Harry Larway a self-taught sculptor and artist and the current owner of this uniquely decored real estate listing in the West Boulevard neighborhood. I love doing bold art. People definitely so, yeah. notice these. Yes. Harry's a native of Ghana, and after 12 years here, he's decided he's all Clevelanded out and plans to return home. Now I'm, I'm tired. You're tired. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I would be too. You've been making dinosaurs <laughs> for 22 years. I just want to lead a little bit quiet life. But first, he has to tie up some loose ends, like selling this house. And yes, the rather conspicuous front yard menagerie does come with the deal. These ones is going, is going with the uh, These stay with the house. Yeah, with the, with the house. But Harry also has many other extraordinary creations that he's hoping to sell to art lovers before departing, as I learned during my tour of the estate. So you're not just a dinosaur, man. You can do plenty. You can do plenty. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> and this is the second one. Oh, yeah, look at that. The housing market remains hot. But do those trends hold true with dinosaur houses? As of right now, we've had a lot of interest. Every time I come here, there's always three or four people. They stop, they take pictures. Kids stop, take pictures. And, and you just see, like, the joy that he gets out of it. Sure. It's just, yeah. it's, it's awesome. Harry won't have any trouble selling this house, regardless of the dinosaur factor. And hopefully, he'll find buyers for his other art as well. His work is quite remarkable. This is mahogany. And this, this is a dining table. And this is also mahogany. Harry's the kind of talent that you hate to see leave town, but it is nice knowing that long after the sale has closed and the artist has taken his leave, his work and these Cleveland residents will still remain. This is Mike Polk, surrounded by mahogany for three news. <laughs> My favorite thing uh, during that was I would keep asking him, throwing him these softballs, Harry, yeah. uh, who's returning to his home country, and I'd say, but you're gonna miss Cleveland, right? And he's like, no, not really. <laughs> And I'm just like, but you're gonna, there's some things about it you're gonna miss. He's like, no, I can't wait to leave. <laughs> well, Listen, he's homesick. He's homesick. Of course. Get you get it. homesick. You're from Cleveland. If you were if you were somewhere and you were not in Cleveland, you'd want to go home too. Yeah. So I'm, I get it. And his stuff's great. He's leaving all of this behind. So, yeah. you know, there's a piece of him staying. Check him out. Us.